Hey guys, so in today's video, I wanted to answer a very popular question that I continue to get, and that is, when will Apple release the next beta for iOS 16 for public beta testers and developers alike? Now, in case you didn't know, Apple has released iOS 16 public beta 1, and on that day, Apple has also released a re-release of iOS 16 developer beta 3, making those two betas the same build number. So from here on out, Apple will continue to release new betas and both public and developer betas will be essentially the same, although they were released different times. So I'll try to explain everything here in just a few seconds, but as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, of course, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. Now on July 11th, Apple released iOS 16 public beta 1 and they re-released iOS 16 developer beta 3. So it was a re-release to make both betas the same build number and the same software moving forward. Now the first beta for developers of course was released on June 6th WWDC, but now that Apple has released the first public beta and the re-release of the third developer beta, which again both betas are the same, moving forward Apple will release release the same software for both developers and public beta testers. So when can we see the next beta for iOS 16? And now before we get to expected release dates and release schedule from here on out, I also wanted to mention a few things that I've noticed after using developer beta 3, the re-release, in the last couple of days here. I got this splash screen here and this one's new for me. Let me know if you've seen this one before. It says welcome to your family plan in Apple Music. I got prompted with this, started listening. It's the first time I see this screen here. I don't know if it's new because it's the first time I've seen it but let me know if you've seen this one before and I just wanted to share that screen with you guys as you can see right there now something that I believe is new is this right here now I was using dictation on my Mac which is running Mac OS Ventura and this iPhone of course running iOS 16 the latest beta and I've noticed you can now use your iPhone as a microphone for your Mac when you're using dictation as you can see right here connected iDevice helps to MacBook Pro okay as you can see right there to iDevice's MacBook Pro and you can pause or disconnect the iPhone. Now both the iPhone and the Mac were both connected to the same network and of course they're running the latest beta for Mac OS Ventura and iOS 16. And this one here was sort of interesting. So this ties in with the continuity features that Apple is working on like continuity camera where you can use your iPhone's camera as the webcam for your Mac. I think this ties to everything that has to do with continuity where you can use your iPhone as the microphone for your Mac which is kind of cool. I think this one one is a really neat feature and again I can pause and disconnect my iPhone just wanted to mention that here quickly something that I noticed over the past several days as I use my Mac and my iPhone on the latest beta now as I mentioned iOS 16 public beta was released on June 11th and a re-release for developer beta 3 came the same day making both betas the same software moving forward so now if history is any indication I'm gonna go by iOS 16 last year the release schedule for that if we're expecting Expecting another beta, this next beta will be most likely on the week of the 25th of July. Now, typically, Apple will release developer beta first and a day or two later public beta as well. Now, although public beta will be number two and developer beta will be number four, this is still the same software. It's just that Apple changes the days of the release dates according to which beta you're testing. But moving forward, it looks like Apple will start shifting to a two weeks release schedule, which is something that's normal as the software progress and we get closer to a release date. Now, iOS 16 won't be available to the general public within the next two to two and a half months or so. But once Apple starts shifting, shifting to a two weeks release schedule we're starting to ramp up and then after that we'll see a one week release schedule which is going to happen maybe in about a month and a half or so we'll get to that when apple announces this new change but my experience and based on previous history next week on the week of the 25th we'll most likely see developer beta 4 and public beta 2 moving forward we could see a two weeks release schedule and hopefully that answers your question next week expect ios 16 the next public beta and and developer beta maybe a day or two difference in release dates but the same software moving forward i hope you guys enjoyed this video have a great weekend and i'll see you guys on the next one peace